In this tutorial, we will learn extrude command. To switch to 3D modeling, click here and select 3D modeling and click on unsaved view is isometric. Then give you see a icon command enter no region. Click here and select shaded with edges. For extrude, at first you will have to create one close sketch. Using line, we will create one sketch. We will keep a copy of it. Keyboard shortcut for extrude is EXT. Enter. Then select the object to extrude. Enter. Give the direction where you want to go and give the height. As the lines were not connected or not single object, therefore it has created a surface model. If you want to create 3D solid model, then these lines needs to be connected. To connect this line, you can use the join command. Click on modify and click on join and select all the object and enter. So this object will be converted into a single object. Now if you extrude it, it will create a 3D solid object. To give you extrude command, click here, extrude. Select the object to extrude. Enter, give the direction where you want to go and then give the height, how much you want. Suppose I want it to be 4. During extrude, you can also give the taper angle. Extrude, select object enter click on this taper angle and give the angles i will give it taper angle 10 degree enter then give the direction and height for extrude you can also give the direction as per other object click on extrude select the object to extrude enter then click on this direction suppose i want to extrude as per the diagonal of this rectangle therefore i will click this as a first point and this as a second point so it will extrude as per that and if you want to create some object some reference line yourself then that reference line should be on a plane normal to the your sketch direction line should not fall on the surface that is parallel to this surface we will create that direction line on this z y plane for that we will take this right plane then create one line give the first point then give the length Suppose length is 50 and angle 60 was already there. Enter, enter, then again extrude, select the object, enter. When you are giving direction, if you want to change the taper angle also, click on this taper angle, give the taper angle, suppose 5 degree, enter, and for height, give the direction, click this first point, click this second point. So you can combine both taper angle and direction then you can create a extrude using path also we will create some reference path then we will apply some fillet fillet then set the radius how much you want then click on the first line and second line now i want to extrude as per this path now this path is again a separate line so we will have to convert it into single object using join command click on modify join select the object enter and on this path what shape you want to extrude that we will create on the top plane select the top plane and create the shape suppose again i will take one rectangle from this end point and i want to extrude it on this path click on extrude select the object to extrude enter then click on this path and select this path if your sketch is closed and still if you want to create the surface model then for that give extrude select the object then you will have to select this mode option from this mode option you can define whether you want solid model or surface suppose i want it to be surface model give the direction and give the height in this way you can create a surface model using closed sketch also that's all thanks for watching we will Stop here.